Okay, so imagine you're traveling across the world and you just forgot your drone somewhere, or you're not allowed to fly a drone anywhere. This right here is the perfect tool to solve that issue. This right here is Google Earth Studio. This is a brand new tool from Google, which allows you to animate the Google Earth satellite images as well as their 3D data into clips that you can put into your videos. It's amazing because you can do kind of flying through the city scenes. You can fly a drone pretty much wherever you can't fly a drone. Or if you don't have a drone, it's also a great tool for that. So today we'll be talking about how to use it, what you can use it for, and also how to do the Andreas Hem GTA zoom effect like the zoom out, slide over, and then zoom back in, as well as how to rotate around a point of interest. And allows you to give the audience context about where you are and where you're going. Another thing to note is it is in beta, so you do have to be invited, but you just go on there, fill out the form, and I got accepted within a day. I just said, I wanna use it to enhance my filmmaking ability, and it seemed like that was a good enough answer, and they let me in. So I don't imagine it's that hard. I highly recommend it. I highly re recommend going on there, seeing if you can get in. I don't see an issue about you not getting in. So let's just dive right in here. We're gonna start with a brand new project, call this one tutorial. Um, it's gonna be 450 frames. Actually, I'm gonna change that to about, I'm gonna change this to about seven seconds because I don't need that much time. Click enter, 30 frames per second. It's perfect, matches your other footage just fine. Top left, you have the, where you're looking at on earth, so where it is. On the top right, you have your animation preview window. So what the animation is gonna look like, or you can change the views. You can change it from um, single display to double display if you don't wanna see this here. And then in the bottom here, you have the timeline. This shows you all the keyframes that you have, as well as just kinda what's going on, the attributes for each thing, longitude, latitude, altitude, pan, tilt, whatever. Super simple. If you know how to use After Effects, this makes it super easy because it's, it's pretty much the exact same thing. It's a super light version of After Effects pretty much. And that's basically it. Up here you have animation, other animation options, overlay options, view options. If you want a guide, a guideline so you know what you're looking at, kind of like a center guide, you can click view, guides, center, or you can go view, guides, thirds, safe margins, kind of everything that you need. So we're gonna go to a place like the uh, New York City. Everybody knows what New York City is. So New York, perfect. And say, let's just say you're doing a vlog in Central Park and you wanna show the audience that you've moved from Central Park to uh, Battery Park at the south end of Manhattan. So first we're gonna start in Central Park and down on the side here, you have all the attributes that you wanna change. So right now I'm gonna change the pan option, so I'm more perpendicular to the streets. And imagine, let's just say we're right on this path, right, or this road. No, let's just say we're in this circle right here. And this is where you kind of say, okay, now we're gonna be going to such and such location. Add a keyframe here. We're gonna go forward a few more seconds. If you've used After Effects before, this is like the exact same thing. It's just a really light version, so you should be able to figure it out. Um, and then what we're gonna do is add a keyframe, drag it over a few seconds, zoom out to about here, which looks good, and add another keyframe. So as you can see here, we've already animated going up. Easy as that. So we're gonna let it hold a few sec, like for half a second, then set it forward a few more seconds, and then drag all the way down to the southern tip of Manhattan, Battery Park. And once we get there, we're gonna line it up to about here. Let's just say we're gonna end up right there. Add another keyframe hold it for a few more, like a half, another half second here. And then right from there, we're gonna drag forward a few more seconds and then we're gonna zoom all the way in. And let's just say we're having hot dogs at this umbrella stand right here. Um, this looks good here. And add another keyframe. So as you can see here, it's not that hard and we've already animated a zoom up, a drag down and a zoom in just like this. Perfect. If anything, I just say, maybe make these keyframes a little bit longer, but that's not an issue. Just select them all and drag them out to where you want them to be. And there we are. Now it may look a little kind of jarring. So what you can do is select all the keyframes, um, click animation, auto ease, bingo. 
and it just kind of smooths everything out so it's kind of like a gradual acceleration to everything, all the keyframes that you did. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, now when you're done, you can trim the work area to about where you want it to end. So let's just say here, if you figured out you didn't need that much time. And then what you can do is then you can click render. This will render it out into a video that you can then use into your in your uh, editing software. I call it tutorial. Look at that. You can click start. So I'm going to wait for this to render right now. I'll get back to you in a second. In my opinion, this is the best online tool for filmmakers because it is just so powerful and it allows you to do basically whatever you want. Whatever a drone can do, you can do it right here on your computer screen. So as soon as it's done downloading, it'll pop up on your screen and then you can uh, then you can specify where you want it to extract to. Um, I'm just gonna do it right there. You come into After Effects and then you can import the footage. So it's gonna pop up with all the images that you need to stitch it together into a video. You select all of them, control A, and then do import JPEG sequence. Click import, super easy. Drag it down into your timeline. And if you zoom back in, and it shows you exactly what you did. And this is the exact effect that you animated, stitched together, super easy. Couldn't be easier, I guess. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to revolve around a point of interest. So let's just open a new project here. We're gonna to go to the Empire State Building. Empire State Building in New York. How classic. And then we're gonna use an attribute called camera target. That's right down here. Click camera target, click done. And then if we go to this window here and drag our camera back, you can see it always stays locked to the camera target or the point of interest. So if we pull it back, we can change the camera target altitude so we're not looking at the tip of the Empire State Building. So how about 250, looks good. And then we're gonna go drag it farther back. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now set a keyframe, move it forward a few frames. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the camera to the side and then we're gonna go forward a few more frames and then move it 180 degrees from where we started. So that would be right there. That looks pretty good. And then set that keyframe there. So as you can see, it creates kind of like this arch and we can come in here and change the Bezier handles to make it more circular. Um, and that looks pretty good. It kind of looks like a helicopter flyover effect, but this would be used if you didn't, if you're not allowed to use a drone like on Manhattan, or if you just weren't able to get a drone or just basically anything that a drone would be used for, or maybe just really high up stuff. It's handy because sometimes that shot just really kind of seals a deal and makes your film so much better. When you're done your animation, it looks pretty good, looks pretty solid. What you can do actually is select all of the keyframes that you've made. And this is how to really kind of make it as smooth as possible as animation, go to auto ease, and then it'll kind of make it so it's not just a linear motion, like go really quick, then stop. It kind of eases into everything. I'm sure if you used After Effects before, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then you can just do exactly what you did before where you click render, put it into After Effects, and you're good to go. So that's basically the entire effect. That's how you do it. It's also, it's a great tool for filmmakers because it allows you to use Google Earth, which is a huge thing, which is just such an amazing tool as is, and you can animate it and put it into your videos. So if you liked any of the music in this video, we use Musicbed. It's a great service. They have thousands and thousands of songs for creators just like you. Um, you could probably put a song into the video that you make with this brand new tool that you just found out. And uh, if you wanna get a free 30 day trial, there's a link in the description. So you can do that because then you don't spend hours finding music that is copyright free if you wanna monetize your videos. We'll try to do, uh, I guess, another tutorial sometime soon. If you have any ideas for tutorials that you want us to do, leave them in the comments and we'll get to them. Um, other than that, I guess we'll see you guys next Monday. Ooh.